wrong way. We're back with another video. I gotta wash my finger. I did that all last video. But today, I'm gonna just try to answer like, I don't know, like common question that I get, which is, should you lift your truck? Sunny, Sunny. Hey, boy. And to be honest, sorry, my we're putting together a treadmill. But, all right, back to the question. Should you lift your truck? Now, I hear this question all the time. People always make videos on it, and I just figured I might as well share my opinion also about it. But, um, if you ask me personally, I say yes. Yeah, why not? You know what I mean? Like, if you, if, if you have the money, though. Like, if you have the money, go ahead and lift your truck. That's how I view it. Like, it's fun. It, it opens up, like, a whole new world of friends and, like, people you can meet and truck meets. And there's so much you can do. Like, just lifting your truck and idling some tires. You can get a lot out of it in life. Um, but that's if it's, a, like, a smart financial decision, I should say. Like, yeah. I don't know, if, if you're going to have to make payments on a lift kit, I'm, in my view, you should do it if you have the cash, the extra cash lying around, and like, you can do it. Like, my wheels, I had the cash, and everything I've done has been like, I've had the cash, let me just do it, because I want to do it. It's not like I'm making payments on my wheels, because I didn't have the cash in the beginning. Which, I mean, payments are smart and all, but in my mind, I just I just think like, in my head, I just think like, let me just pay for it. It's done, it's paid for, it's there. I'm not making payments. Uh, but like, other than that, like things like ride quality, you get what you pay for. Um, not throwing any shots, rough country. You hear like, lift your truck for cheap. And they can be nice, but they can also be crappier. It just, you get what you pay for is the honest truth about things. Now, with that being said, it's like they say, don't buy cheap mud tires, don't buy cheap wheels, don't buy, you know what I mean? It's just, the, the more money you pay, the nicer you're going to get out of it, obviously. And the more money you pay, the nicer the lift kit you get, the better the ride quality. You, you see what I mean there? So it's just sort of like, should you lift your truck, you're sacrificing ride quality, but you can also get ride quality back with a nice lift kit. It may not ride always the same, but it's just, some things are just sacrifices you make. And stuff like gas mileage, that, that's a big sacrifice, because I promise you I do not get good gas mileage. I get 13.6 miles to the gallon right now. Uh, so yeah, it's, which is actually not bad at all for considering how much driving I do and every my daily it's considered it's it's a daily driver and it's not that bad actually but some people get like 10 or below and that's that takes a lot if you're driving every day to work which is a far drive and then home and like you're just driving a lot then that can that can definitely wear on you another thing that will wear on you is how fast you're going through parts and like one thing you notice when you get going to 14 lights and bigger tires and I'm not even like there's people with like 26 by 16s on way bigger tires than I probably will ever have on my truck and that just like you go through ball joints you go through hub assemblies way quicker than you normally would way quicker and it is it is harder on your truck it is a lot harder but like i said buy nice ball joints they last longer buy nice wheel hubs they last longer it it's it is a it's a lot of money in the long run but the thing is when you see all us truck guys and we have these super nice trucks and we have like and y'all are all thinking wow they're wasting their money they're blowing their money on these trucks well this is it's your hobby at this point like this is my hobby i mean i have other things that i like to do but 
if you go spend a bunch of money on guns and that's your hobby is buying guns and doing cool things to guns then that's cool uh that's your hobby this is my hobby so in the long run spending that money is it's a, it's a hobby for me it's a hobby for a lot of people so it's not like we're wasting our money in our eyes. It's just what you prefer to spend your money on. And if you don't prefer to spend your money on that, then to each is their own. Don't spend your money on that. But I'm going to continue spending my money on it, and a lot of other people are. But in the long run, in the end of the video, uh, I definitely think you should lift your truck. Because you make a lot of friends. You get a lot out of it. It's just it's a good experience. It's a very good experience, and you do build connections with the truck, and I don't think I could ever sell this. I'd have a hard time selling this truck. It's just, it's a lot of fun, and once you start, it's hard to stop. And you meet a lot of cool people, and you have a lot of fun. So, I definitely think y'all should lift y'all's truck, and that's it for today's video. I'm not going to keep you too long, so I'll see you on the next video. Peace.